Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings. I'm Mike Jex, I'm the author of a lot of books, 40 of them now, but you can see some up there, you can't see those down there, never mind, you can get over it. I am starting a new project soon. New project's going to be a new book, um, it's going to be jolly exciting, it'll be great fun, but I'm not here to talk about the book. I'm here to talk about the project. For the first time, because I always use Apple computers generally. Um, this last year I lost about two and a bit weeks because of a failure on the backup systems on my computer. That was painful. So this next book I'm about to start on, I'm going to write by hand. Now, anybody who knows me knows that I really like this fountain pen here. It is a gorgeous pen. It's a Visconti and it's called a Homo Sapiens and it's indestructible because it's made out of this wonderful black uh, material that's based on lava from Mount Etna, believe it or not. It's a gorgeous pen but for my new project I need to have something a little different. Now before I carry on, if you want to see the new project there is a link that's going to materialise here in ghostly writing right now. Hopefully you've seen that. If you want to find out about the project, please link on that. But in the meantime, I've just received through the post this lovely box. Well, I'm now going to open it and show you what's inside. Let's just consider this pen first, my Homo Sapiens. I absolutely love it. I've been using it for ages. However, when writing all day and writing an entire book, there's a couple of things that would make this even better. Uh, one is to know exactly how much ink I've got inside the pen. It's pretty difficult to see, as you can tell when you look through a lump of basically basalt, to see what's inside it. So I thought it would be nice to have um, a pen that would show the how much ink and what colour ink was inside it. And I happened to mention this to a delightful fellow called Dante Del Vecchio, who is the owner and main designer behind this company Visconti. And to my absolute surprise and delight, he sent me something. Let me show you. I've got this nice box, this Conti box, which is difficult to get into without damaging the cardboard. And inside there is this nice leatherette box, which is the sort of box that you get with all Homo sapiens pens. Um, there's a brochure in there which gives all the details of the history of Visconti and the sort of people that use Visconti pens, different celebrities. Sadly I'm not a celebrity but I still use his pens and a list of all of the other different pens and also a serial number so that you can register your ownership of the pen. And then inside it's even better because there is a nice new pen. Isn't it lovely? Very quickly, I'll just show you this first. This is a Visconti Traveller's Inkwell. It is a delightful little tool which you un take off the lid, fill it with ink, and then wherever you go you can top up your pen to your heart's content. It contains a massive amount of ink in there. And a, a lovely little feature, I think, is that when you've actually filled your pen, in case you get any dirt on your nib, You've got a little piece of felt inside that you can then use to dab all the excess ink off. I haven't got that out yet, I'll do that in a little while. So you have that. So we have an eyedropper to fill the travelling inkwell. But then, of course, the most important thing is what we're here for, which is a new style Homo sapiens pen. Now, in comparison with my old one, you can see that instead of the bronze metalwork that it has with the two rings in bronze, the extra ring down there, this one's all in, I assume, stainless steel. But it looks lovely. Just take that little notification off there. So this tells us that it's a palladium, 23 karat palladium dream touch nib. And having used these nibs for some years now, I can vouch for the fact that they are fantastic. So much better even than gold, I think. 
The pen itself has the standard Visconti logo on the top, as you can see there, but it's a clever design that's held on magnetically so that if you want to, you can change the top. You can either have your star sign, you can have different types of semi-precious stones, or you can have your own initials, which I rather like. I've actually just today ordered a set of initials to fit on there. They're just magnetically held, so that's lovely. The clip has the Visconti label on it. It's designed to look just like the Ponte Vecchio in Florence, where the pens are made. It's got two stainless steel rings there. But what's really nice is that here it has a clear window so you can see the colour and how much ink you've got inside it. And then there's a second window here where you can see again how much ink there is here. Now it's a difficult concept but this pen is based on what they call the two reservoir power filler. There's one little reservoir there that holds about, um, I think it's about one cc of ink which is roughly the same as you get with a standard ink cartridge or cartridge converter pen. This reservoir is about another three cc's. It's huge com compared to any other pen. And the way that it works is that as you unscrew this, you will see in that window that if you pull the tube out of the back, then you get the seal going past that window. What happens is there is a parallel sided cylinder in there so when you push this in it creates a vacuum behind here and as it goes all the way down the vacuum sucks ink up because the, um, the tube flares slightly at the bottom so that air can get in or ink can get in. When you tighten this that shuts off this reservoir from this reservoir. Now the idea there is that if you go on a plane you can hold your pen like this, unscrew the base and then as you do it the ink that's in that reservoir will fall into the main reservoir and then when you shut it off completely again if you go on an aeroplane the variation in air pressure will not allow any ink to squirt out through the cap or anything. So it's just a neat and tidy way of operating. It also, though, means that you can keep a good um, control on how much writing you're doing. You can keep a, a good assessment of how much ink there is left in the pen and so on. I love the fact that it's the quick fit, bayonet fit um, screw there. Makes it so much faster and easier to work. But the main thing about any pen is not so much wittering on about what it looks like, but how it writes. So I am now going to fill this little beauty and be back shortly. Right, so here we have some delightful diamine sapphire blue ink. And I'm going to unscrew the back of the pen and pull it out and then let's see how it fills. Now I'm not going to fill it to the fullest extent this time. Uh, that will do nicely I think. I do like this colour of blue from Diamine. Very bright and quite delightful. So Let's just see how it writes. I would say that you can use these pens capped, but I think that having it capped just makes it a little bit too long. It's a perfectly good size without capping it. Uh, the one thing I would say is that this is a one-off pen currently. It's using a fine nib which does feel absolutely delightful very very soft very smooth
very well balanced to this pen. It's a little bit lighter. than my standard Homo sapiens, but that's not a problem. It's going to make life a little bit easier when you're writing for six or seven hours in a day, I think. But let's just have a quick look at it now. So you can see that already um, you can just see how much ink there is inside there. You can see here the colour of the ink coming through the main reservoir. And then if I unscrew the back here, you can see as I unscrew it, the small reservoir there is filling up. And that's because when I filled it originally, I intentionally held the pen upwards slightly so that it wouldn't get too full. But if I hold it this way now, and unscrew this again, if you watch that window there, you'll see that the ink will drain back out into the main reservoir. There it goes. So now you've got a clear window there. Now this would be safe to take on an aeroplane and go flying around the world if, as an author, that was ever likely to happen. But, being an author, I don't really fly around too much. Never mind. I do, however, stay at home and write. Now, what can I say? An absolutely gorgeous little pen. I say little. It's actually a very large pen, but never mind that. Fantastic pen to use. I am really looking forward to writing a book with this. This is going to be a stupendous tool for me to use, I think. So what can I say apart from thank you very much to Dante Del Vecchio and the people at Visconti who have created this fabulous tool. And I look forward to producing quite a lot of videos and blogging and tweeting about the book that I'm writing and how it's progressing with this pen. So thanks a lot for watching. Do please give me any questions in the comment section down below. Um, let me know if there's any other aspects of things you want to know about. Uh, share this video and the playlist with other people if you think they'd be interested and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks very much. Cheers.